Hello, Long Burger friends. How are you? Um, great to have you with us today. My name is Lisa. This is the L Daily Friday edition. So first of all, hope that you've had a great week. And then secondly, hope that you have wonderful weekend plans in store for yourself. Uh, I'm so thrilled to have a chance to be with you a couple of days a week. I, I love watching the other L Daily hosts. I just feel like I learned so much. And I'm so thrilled that you check in with us at noon every day to just kind of see what's going on. But today is Friday. And Friday finds are the day that we set aside at Longer Burger to think about maybe brand new items that you might not have known about. Because until I became an L Daily host a couple months ago, I had no idea about the breadth of product that Longer Burger provides now on the website. You can shop all of this during this L Daily. So I was speaking with a friend recently who said, like, girl, you're loving Longer Burger. I said, oh, I, I absolutely love the brand. I love everything about it. And she was aware of the baskets. Obviously, everybody knows about the baskets. They're iconic. And she even knew about the jewelry because I talk about that all the time. And she knew about like tabletop and the you know beautiful dinnerware because I have that at the house and she saw that. But what she did not know, and she knew that we had wine, but she had no idea that Longer Burger also sells food. They partnered with other organizations to bring you really, really great food. So today on Friday Finds, I'm going to take you into just a few of the food items that you might like, okay? And I've talked about these before, but not recently. And I've never talked about them all together. So I thought today would be a good day to maybe find something new that would make its way to your refrigerator or to your cupboard and to your family and uh, just enjoy something just terrific. So first of all, let's talk peanuts. And let's talk about peanuts from the great state of Virginia. You know, you can find peanuts everywhere practically, but there's something about the Virginia peanut which is proven to be bigger and crunchier. There's something just about the soil and the trees and the way it's grown and the, and the, I guess, the atmosphere, the weather that makes Virginia peanuts the most sought after. As a matter of fact, when you go to a ball game and they sell, you know, roasted hot peanuts, more than likely they came from Virginia because they're nice and big. Three assortments for you today, so let's dive in on Friday finds. Virginia salted peanuts. Okay, first of all, the canister is massive, so you're getting a ton here. These are the large, beautiful, salted, not overly salted, salted peanuts. They come halved, so this is just a half of one, massive, and they are so crunchy and delicious. Again, just enough salt to make it really interesting. Great source of protein, as you know, great source of fiber. This is such a wonderful way to snack. And of course, you're only gonna have these in moderation, but the fact that you can seal it right up, <clears throat> you can enjoy these for weeks and months to come, and they're so great when mixed in with other items. So if you want just the basic salted peanut, this is one for you, and I think that you will really love it. But there are two others that I want you to know about. All right, honey roasted. Who doesn't love a little sweet with their peanut? Longer Burger also partners with the same growers out of Virginia to give you a giant, gigantic honey roasted peanut. These are whole, so these are not halved. These are nice and whole, not overly sweet. So when you have a honey roasted peanut, what you want is the peanut flavor to still come through but you want a little bit of that sweetness to also come through. It makes it really, really, and it's just a, a tiny bit of salt. So it's that salt, it's sweet, it's the crunch, it's the whole nut that makes this really amazing. Now, I've told you about this recipe before, and I want you to try it because we're getting into autumn, and a lot of these vegetables and these um, fruits are going to not be as readily available to us when, in the winter months. So a really great lettuce or a really great spinach or a really great, green of some sort, you want a sliced pear, super, super thin. You want some crumbled either feta or blue cheese. Okay, so, so follow me so far. A green, a sliced little thin pear, and then a little bit of cheese, the, um, not like a soft cheese, but a, a, a crumbled cheese, balsamic, and then you're going to dice these. You're going to chop these very, very finely, and this is the nut that you're going to sprinkle over the top. It's a salad that's like a meal. It's so great, and you have like the you have like the, the calcium from the cheese, the protein from the nut, you have the vegetable and you have the fruit components, the vitamins from the lettuce and the pear. It's perfect. And this is the nut you want. This is called the honey roasted peanut from Longa Burger in the state of Virginia. Okay, third and fabulous. This was new to me, sea salt and pepper. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. There's just a little bit, this is a half nut also. Mm. That little tiny, Mm, that little tiny bite of pepper. It's so great. This is the one, as I've said before, 
chop it up super, super, super fine and put it in your hot buttered popcorn on movie night with your family. Okay, good. Now let's shift gears. Talk a little bit about spreads and things that seem to have a very autumnal feeling. And as we were moving into the fall months, I thought I would offer you the opportunity to learn about three different items, one that you would use maybe for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner, or however you want to, but in that order. These are also made for Lanka Burger, and we are starting with breakfast time. Apple butter. I'm a Southern woman. Yes, I am. My grandmother's made their apple butter from scratch. I am here to tell you, you do not find better than this apple butter. It's crisp apples and it's spices. This goes on everything. It's overly sweet? No. It's just enough. Here's the consistency. How nice and thick that is. On biscuits, mm -hmm. toast, oh, just waffle. But there's also other spices in here that makes it just so beautiful for right now as we go into autumnal months. You know what this would be great over? If you did a hot apple cobbler or a beautiful deep dish apple pie, to drizzle some of this over the top of it. If you like ice cream, drizzle some of this over the top of it. Unbelievable. Made in extremely small batches. That's why this is so great. After you open it, put it in the fridge. But this is called apple butter. And if you've never tried apple butter, you got to try Longer Burgers apple butter. Let's try and just now into lunchtime. This is called tangy tomato jam. This is not tomato ketchup. So just so you know, there's a little bit of basil in here. There's a little bit of garlic in here. This is gluten-free and vegan, so if that's very important to you, it is. The minute you smell it, you know, oh wait, this is awesome. This is gonna go on top of that hamburger. This is gonna go on top of that chicken burger. You do this with a grilled cheese sandwich, off the chain. It is absolutely off the chain. So just like a nice, a sharp cheddar, and then instead of ketchup, or even instead of tomatoes, but just kind of pour this over as the cheddar is melting and as you're toasting the bread, Unbelievable. Look at the consistency. This is so great. See, it's not a ketchup. It's a jam, which is many types of tomatoes. And then, as I said, that little bit of basil, a little bit of garlic. Oh, man. That is so good. It's surprising what a spread will do or a jam. Put this in your chili. Put this in your chili the next time you make meatloaf. Put it into the mixture before you bake it, or spread it over the top and let it get crisp underneath the boiler. So this is lunchtime or dinner time, but I just think you're going to love this. And then finally, and this really speaks so much to me right now, to the autumn month, it's called the Black Mission Fig Spread. This guy is unbelievable because it's not just figs, pureed figs and dried figs. There's little teeny pieces of almond. There's orange in here. So if you could think about this as almost being something that would go beautifully like with a steak, if you have a beautiful ham that you're going to do of an evening, this is, you know what this is perfect with? Different cheeses. If you want to do a nice charcuterie board, and we have charcuterie boards here on, on, um, on Longer Burger, you're going to do a beautiful charcuterie board and put this in a dish next to it. This is unbelievably delicious. It's so great. Look at the consistency. Nice and thick. Those are figs, almonds, orange. Mm. You know what this could be? This could be a side dish on its own with just a little bit of crispy bread. It is so divine. It's sweet with the fig, but the acidity of the orange just makes it perfectly, perfectly balanced. This also is gluten-free and vegan naturally gluten-free and vegan. And also, this is one that you would want to refrigerate immediately after opening. I absolutely think you're going to love all three of these. Or choose the one that's best for you. So, today on Friday Finds, maybe you're just now finding out that Wonka Burger does wonderful food products. And this is just a tiny sampling. This is just a, just a tip of the iceberg. But if you want to try some new nuts from the great state of Virginia, if you want to try some apple butter or spreads that may be brand new, different for you, just a splurge, then this is the day to find something new to either go to your refrigerator or to your cupboard. So I wish you a great weekend. Ooh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> I got to get some something for lunch myself. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us on the L Daily. I will see you next time and enjoy the rest of your